this is um, Nigeria. This is uh, where we stayed. There are, I want to talk about the concept of the three Nigerias. The three Nigerias. There is a Nigeria within the Nigeria that we live in. It is an exquisite, it is a, an exclusive Nigeria. The elites enjoy it within this country. They enjoy 24 hours electricity. Some of them have insurance policies that if they fall sick, an aircraft will come and lift them to any country in the world that they choose. They are within Nigeria. They live on the people. Some of them have created their own businesses. They have their own security. We are driving past somewhere when we, before coming to this hotel. No noise. You won't believe that you are in Nigeria. If you go to VGC, it's as if you are living in another country. You don't see kiosks. You don't see people making noise within the same Nigeria. That is a Nigeria. That is the Nigeria of the elites. The Nigeria, when you complain about poverty and lack in this country, those people don't seem to understand you. They understand only the language of their comfort and their exclusivity. Then there is the Nigeria in the streets, the Nigeria of the poor, the Nigeria of the pensioner, the Nigeria of those who are deprived, the Nigeria of darkness, the Nigeria of bad roads, the Nigeria of dirty streets. That's another Nigeria. And that's the real majority of Nigerians. And that's where the problem of the future is going to come from, if we don't take time. Then there is a third Nigeria. That's the Nigeria that is in the diaspora. There are so many Nigerians in the diaspora. And no matter how long they stay in overseas, they always miss their country. They always have love for this country. They know the potentials in this country. And their children want to come to see their fatherland. They want to come and invest here. They are in the diaspora, very knowledgeable people. They are in the US Army, they are in the British police, they are musicians, they are educationists, they are surgeons, they are lawyers, they are engineers, they, are, they have patents for different discoveries. But inside their hearts, they are still Nigeria. There is the Nigeria in the diaspora of the children of the elites, the politicians, throwing big parties, they are living large, but there is the Nigeria of the, in the diaspora of those who have worked hard for their money and they are, they, are, they are there, but they want to come back home. Many of them have dual nationalities, American, Nigerian, British, Nigerian. They run for countries as far as Bahrain and different nations, but they miss their country. What is going to happen is that there's going to be a conflict between the Nigeria that is within Nigeria that is deprived. A time is going to come when this deprivation will be so universal that it will not know religion, it will not know tribe, it will not know uh, where you come from. They will attack the exclusive Nigeria within Nigeria. They will attack it. They will attack it. The people will be so angry that we can't even drive. They will be so angry that we won't have peace in our homes. Because the way it is going, the way it is degenerating, the anger is so much. And when that happens, the Nigeria in the diaspora who have ideals and ideas and have seen what has worked will come to this country and interface with the Nigeria that has been deprived and a new elite, a new Nigeria will be created. I feel it very deep in my spirit that all this pacificity in the north and the docility thinking that we are Muslims, we are, we are northerners, is going to fade with time like as the Arab Spring came. And people got tired of seeing Israel as the common enemy and America as the common enemy. I see it coming, but I'm so afraid of it that it might, it might consume innocent people alongside with the guilty. 
I see the three conflict of the three Nigerias, like the River Niger, River Benue, and the Niger Delta, the, the three arms of the rivers in Nigeria. So also we have the Nigeria in the diaspora, Nigeria, exclusive Nigeria within Nigeria, and the Talakawa Nigeria. It's a dangerous phenomenon that is waiting to happen. May God save this country. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. Mark my words.